How to harness quantum mechanics to efficiently change information into useful energy. Researchers are wondering whether thanks to knowledge in the field of quantum mechanics, it will be possible to convert information into mechanical work more effectively than before, or in a completely new way. The Polish physicist presents mathematical tools that will bring this branch of physics, quantum thermodynamics, closer to experiments. Publication by Dr. Camila Korzekwa from the Jagiellonian University and Dr. Matteo Lostalio on this subject received two awards from the editorial board of Physical Review Letters, one of the most prestigious physics journals in the world. Dr. Korzekwa is trying to better understand how the second law of thermodynamics works at the quantum level. This principle, in one of the formulations, says that there is no possible process whose only effect would be to take a certain amount of heat from a reservoir and convert it into an equivalent amount of work. It is a feature of our universe that entropy, which can be thought of as a measure of disorder, always increases with time. So you can't order a system, or more precisely, reduce its entropy without using energy, because it also increases entropy elsewhere. For me, Questions about the second law of thermodynamics are questions about a fundamental aspect of the universe. Associated with this law is that everything will decay, we will all die. Everything tends, according to the arrow of time, towards destruction. The question is why this is so. Also at the level of the laws of quantum physics says Dr. Korzekwa. The study of quantum thermodynamics also has a more practical dimension. In order to build ever more efficient machines and to push devices ever closer to the limits of physics, we need to better understand its laws. Meanwhile, there are many indications that it is impossible without including in the theoretical models considerations regarding the physics of information, i.e. the physical limitations of its processing. We live in the age of information. And information is not something abstract. It depends on the laws of physics also at the level of quantum mechanics and the effects associated with memory can significantly affect thermodynamic processes says the scientist and it's about maxwell's demon this thought experiment proposed would be able to segregate particles in two adjacent containers by opening and closing the partition at the right time, it would be able to collect fast hot particles in one part, and slow, cold particles in the other. And thanks to this trick, free, to build a heat engine. Nice business. But what makes a demon unbuildable? The problem is precisely the information that the demon acquires. It needs to know whether the particle approaching it from a given direction is fast or slow in order to move the partition at the right time. The information that the demon must acquire and then remove is a hidden cost. And these costs mean that the work of the demon is not as free as it may seem. Therefore, Maxwell's demon cannot exist. However, it would be worth developing other machines that use quantum tricks, which would allow, for example, to obtain as much work as possible from the smallest amount of information. 
but for now, it's far from it. Because first a description of how the second law of thermodynamics works in the world of quantum systems should be created. Quantum thermodynamics is a field in which several hundred papers are created annually. In them, scientists try to explain thermodynamics at the quantum level understand its mechanisms and determine whether it is possible to design heat engines and other devices with greater efficiency or power than is possible classically. However, I have a feeling that at some point this community started banging its head against the wall. After 10 years from the creation of this area, there should already be significant experiments. After all, we are physicists, not mathematicians, says Dr. Korzekwa. Our work goes one step towards experimentation. It provides tools to help model experiments in quantum thermodynamics. We provide a mathematical formalism that is tailored to the experiment. It's like we've provided a paint kit, or a hammer and chisel, the researcher adds. This formalism allows to describe how quantum particles, by interacting with a heat bath at a given temperature, can pass from one state of thermodynamic disequilibrium to another. And so, thanks to it, it is possible to analyze what are, with certain simplifications, all possible future states of a certain system let into the environment at a given temperature. The macroscopic equivalent of this experiment would be, for example, placing an ice cube in a room at 20 degrees Celsius. Physicists would like to know all possible future states of this system, e.g.